Hello. How's it going? I hope you're doing well. Let's have another serious talk. I want to talk about lust. And I've been trying to record this for a long while now, and I can't find the words. This is a struggle. Which is what lust is. It is a struggle, because a lot of us struggle with lust. This has been on my mind a lot lately. If you have, if you couldn't tell, I'm struggling with what to say. I'm struggling with what, how, like, what, how to go about it. I was like, I'm usually not like this, but this has been on my heart a lot lately, and I really want to talk about it because, like, the Lord is like saying, like, make a devotional, like, a whole separate devotional about lust in self. Like, it's a struggle that a lot of us deal with. There's no other words to, like say like. I struggle with it. I know many friends struggle with it. Maybe you struggle with it. I don't know. Uh, I admit it. And like, there's a lot of people who aren't willing to admit it because they are scared that they will be judged about it. And I was the same way for a long while. But as soon as I admitted it, I felt so much better. Don't get me wrong, I still struggle with it to this day. But I am so much happier now that I can admit it. These are my faults. I am working on it. I'm still working on it to this day. My friends, there will be times in your life, in our lives, that we just want to escape. Right? We want to find few moments, maybe just a moment, maybe just like minutes, maybe hours or something. And we want to escape. It's just for a little bit of time. And we go to like this, <laughs> these sites. And we go to like certain people. We do stuff. That is what lust is. You think, like you get so stressed out that you think the only way to like deal with it is to do the... Uh, like commit adultery, like commit this sin, like act on the lust that you're feeling because you just want to forget. For a very long time, I was like that, right? And my friends, it is not something it, first of all, there's other ways to deal with it. In life, you're going to have the, like, the worst time. You're going to have shit in your life. And you're not going to know how to deal with it. It is what it is. With God, he can like, make it all go away. Because of how much he loves us. He sent his son to die for us. Like, yes, there is sin in this world. And the devil will be like, you know, just do this. Just do this little thing. Just have like this temporary satisfaction for like two minutes. And you'll feel so much better. But the thing is, you don't feel better. You do not. You make it feel. It makes you feel worse. In Psalm, in Psalms one, one hundred one three, I will not look with approval on anything that is vile. I hate what faithful, faithless people do. I will not part into it. In Matthew five twenty eight, but I tell that anyone who looks at a woman lustfully has already committed adultery with her, in his heart. That's a very good verse of what we were just talking about. In 1 John 2.16, For everything in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life comes not from the Father, but from the world. In Proverbs 6.25, Do not lust in your heart at her beauty, or let her captivate you with her eyes. My friends, this is something like, we, you, you may be dealing with this. This is a war right now in Galatians 5 16 is stead in Galatians 5 16 so I say walk by the spirit and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh when you give it all to God he, he will go away immediately and you say like oh well I still have these desires that's because you're not fully committing your life to him like, you, are, you only go to God because it's convenient to you. Maybe you only do it because, like, oh, my friend's praying. Let me just 
Let me go over and pray with them because, like, it's the cool thing to do. Right? I know, like, that I'm right because I used to do it too for a very long time. I would only, like, commit myself when it was convenient. But now I've committed my life fully to Him. And I can stand here today and say, I have never been happier. I still have these struggles I deal with, but I go to God with it. And he takes it all away. And he makes me feel loved. He makes me feel wanted. He makes me feel better than I was. How I used to see it, right? How I used to see, like when I was, how I used to get stressed out, I would go into a dark place and I have this like very little satisfaction for like just a few moments and I feel worse about it. When I go to God, I feel so much better and I have satisfaction for the rest of my life because I went to him instead of going to the world. This has been something that's been on my heart a lot lately. And I'm finally, I'm glad that I finally found the words because I've been trying to record this for now 40 minutes and I'm now just happy with my recording. I thank you all for watching and I hope you have a blessed day. This will be my last devotional for a little while as I have to go to summer camp. But I will not love, blah, blah, blah. I will see you all when I get back. I love you so much and the Lord loves you too. May God bless you all and I hope you have a good day. Bye. Jesus almighty. Oh, that scared me. Gosh darn it. I wasn't...